Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. So one of the most annoying things about having our mobile devices, right, our phones and our tablets, is all the dang ads you get. It really does get old. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at blocking all sorts of ads, your system-wide ads, YouTube ads, internet browser ads, all sorts of them. This applies to not only the Samsung Galaxy devices, but all Android devices as well. So a couple easy steps here, both free, both easy to implement, should be a really short video. All right, so the first type of ad I wanna focus on is system-wide ads. Um, and what I mean by those are ones that come in through news feeds, ones that pop in through applications that you download. Uh, you know, the ones that basically show up while you're not on a website and while you're not on YouTube or other media consumption applications. You know, just the random pesky ads. Let me show you a couple here real quick so we're on the same page and you know exactly what I'm talking about here. So if I go over to my Google's news feed, all right, we'll go ahead and click on one of these news feeds and let's see some ads show up. So let's let it load up real quick. All right, you see the ad stuff starting to load at the bottom here. Oh, there's our persistent ad, 50 megapixel camera with OIS. Oh, how nice. And you'll have other ads pop up. So these are the ones I'm talking about. Pesky little ads that just pop up out of nowhere. Let me show you how to fix these real quick. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Actually, let's go ahead and just close it real quick. Let's go into our settings. All right, we're gonna go into connections and you're gonna click on more connection settings, and then you're gonna click on private DNS. So when you click on that, you wanna switch it from automatic to private DNS, and you wanna type this in exactly as it is, dns.adguard.com, and hit save. All right, now we'll go home, and let's go back to this same news feed here. Here's the ad trying to load up. The ad is blocked, it's not coming through at all. So this will happen on any of these sites that you visit, any of these news feeds and stuff. So what's happening here? So what's happening is, is you are telling your device, instead of going out to, let's say, um, your ISP if you're on Wi-Fi, or through your cell, cellular provider if you're on cell coverage, instead of going through their DNS servers, which is domain name service servers, right? Which basically translates IP addresses to domain names and back again. Uh, what's happening is, is you're now bypassing that and you're going to the AdGuard DNS server. And what happens there is it has a list of sites that it has blacklisted, which aren't approved. They're all ad sites. So what happens is, is when you get served back a page, it recognizes those sites and filters them and removes the ads for you before you ever get served them. So it's really handy. It's a nice way of doing it. It's been around forever. They're well established. They've been around for a long time. Safe to use. Uh, the only caveat and the thing to look out for with this is the round trip time. So you may end up connecting to one of their servers that's not close to you, and you may notice your pages load a little bit slower. And if that's the case, you might wanna go ahead and disable it. It might be better just to work with the ads. But for most of you, I think you'll be close to a server. I know I don't notice any speed difference on mine, it's all fine. But uh, if you do notice things slow down a little bit, just turn it off, otherwise you should be fine. All right, the next type of ads I wanna talk about are website and YouTube ads. So there's a cool little free app you can download from the Play Store, let me show it to you real quick and that is this right here, Adblock Browser. Basically, this is a browser that you can download that acts a lot like that AdGuard DNS thing we just implemented. And what it does is it has a built-in list of blacklisted websites, and it filters through those and blocks the ads before it serves them to you. It also has a functionality built in to know whether or not you're on YouTube and other media consumption sites, and it will block ads from being served up while you're watching content on those sites. So let's go ahead and see this in action real quick. So let's go ahead and open it up. So this is gonna be basically your homepage. This first one here is for YouTube. We'll go ahead and click on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my own channel here real quick. All right, there it is. And I'm just gonna click on the first video I see and we should have no ads pop up, let's see. Hey everyone, Raider here, hope you're all doing Perfect. great. Perfect. Fantastic day. So All right, so between implementing the DNS trick with AdGuard and using this third-party browser to visit sites like YouTube and other sites that have a lot of ads that you don't want to deal with, these are two great solutions in order to easily block ads on your Samsung Galaxy device as well as all other Android devices as well. There's all kinds of ways of accomplishing this. There's third-party versions of YouTube that you can download and install. There's different ad blocking software, some of them free, some of them not. But these are two quick and simple ways to basically get you system-wide ad blocking on your Samsung Galaxy device. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. And as always, thanks for watching.